Hello there, my beautiful Sagittarius friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. And at the end of this reading, Sagittarius, I'm going to pull an additional bonus card, including an angel number for you as well. So stay tuned for that, my friends. All right, I'm going to split this deck and pull some cards from the middle here. So we're getting the star card, Sagittarius. The universe is trying to communicate with you. This is a major arcana card, so this energy is very prominent in your life. Some of you are feeling this intensely, others you're feeling this subtly. Now the universe is sending you signs, whether you're seeing feathers, birds, animals, bugs, uh, lyrics to music that is resonating with you, patterns, symbols, uh, numbers, there's a lot of communication happening here and this is what spirit guides are wanting to uh they're guiding you they're showing you a path here this is kind of what i'm seeing and some of you have wished for something some of you are manifesting something some of you have been praying for something to happen in your life and this is spirit guides letting you know that is coming through i'm seeing that some of you are seeing um one of the signs from the universe and you're kind of following it. I'm seeing someone following. I don't know if it's a butterfly. It's kind of outside. You're following something along. And this is kind of what uh, they're wanting you to follow. I don't know why this is coming through. They're wanting you to follow the signs. So anytime you're seeing a sign from the universe here, Sagittarius, pull up your Google and search the spiritual meaning. I feel some of you are seeing, seeing uh, feathers as well. Some of you have really big dreams and spirit guides are letting you know that this is coming into fruition. That uh, whatever it is that you have done here, Sagittarius, some of you have taken the initiative uh, to do something new. I don't know if you're picking up on a skill set, you're practicing the guitar, you're actually working towards your dreams here. Some of you are going to become stars, like literally stars. So acting, composers, musicians, uh, a lot of uh, you in the public eye here. So know that spirit guides are sending you messages. Um, what I want you to do here, Sagittarius, is to use your own intuition because as you're watching my card, you're going to receive your own messages through spirit guides. So whatever those are, they're meant for you, okay? So lots of things coming through here, Seven of Swords. Some of you are carrying around a lot of weight here. A lot of burdens, a lot of responsibilities, a lot of thoughts, a lot of doubt, a lot of different things here. And this can weigh you down. So spirit guides are wanting you to drop this. Why are you carrying this around, Sagittarius? Because this is not helping you move forward. Those of you that are out there that are watching today, that are kind of like, there hasn't been any change in my life. I'm not seeing any kind of forward movement. It's time to let go of the things that are weighing you down here, my friends. And we'll take a look at this card a little bit more, okay? I feel you're about to kind of really come into your own authenticity here, Sagittarius, and live the life that you desire. And it's the eight, or sorry, the seven of swords cards that's letting me know this. Look at this. There's an opportunity at hand. Um, whatever this opportunity is it's a manifestation it's that seed that has come into fruition and i feel that some of you can already see this and you're running with it this is a lot of busy energy this is a lot of things coming at you and you having to kind of knock them out of your way here sagittarius but you're somebody that is capable you are equipped you are armed and you're ready to go and you're not going to let anything get in your way you are unstoppable, Sagittarius. So this is what spirit guides want you to know. This is the power they want you to own within yourself. And what I'm getting here is there's almost like a revealing that is going to happen here because it's a version of yourself. I see that you're seeing the version of yourself here, Sagittarius. You're seeing yourself in that reality, that dream that manifestation. It's kind of like you're seeing yourself as a millionaire. You're seeing yourself as an actor. You're seeing yourself on TV. So that version of yourself is what's going to be revealed. And spirit guides want you to take that dream and really put, uh, put clarity to it. 
visualize it with crystal clear clarity because everything is working in alignment in your favor. Some of you are already in the process of creating this dream and making it a reality. Some of you are in a place where you are picking up skill sets or learning and practicing uh, something around what it is that you're wanting to do in your life. Like a guitar, uh, maybe a saxophone, perhaps you're learning the keyboard, maybe you're making music, maybe you are taking acting lessons, right? You're really uh, adding value to yourself in order to grow in this place. And I feel that the signs are all there confirming that you're on the right path here, Sagittarius. This is such a beautiful energy here because this is giving you hope. This is giving you faith and that belief within yourself. Some of you have regained that belief within yourselves. You're kind of... Um, I feel some of you went through, I'm getting the Ten of Swords energy where you were pinned down for a while and knocked down almost and you're getting back up. It's like the Phoenix is rising. There's this inner strength that you have tapped into, this emotion, this desire that is like running through every inch of your veins. And it's this newfound belief in yourself here, Sagittarius. This is what I'm feeling here. And you know that you are someone that is capable of making this happen and something's happened in your life that has kind of put you in this position to really own that power within yourself to rise above the rest you're seeing the signs and you're following them you're seeing them very clearly and I'm seeing a hummingbird. I don't know if any of you had a hummingbird come into your home or a bird fly into your house that was injured and you're kind of helping it recover or it came in your house, you're letting it outside. This is what's happening for you. This is a sign from the universe letting you know that, hey, you're not somebody that is allowing yourself to be stuck in this life. Um, in this place because I feel that some of you gave your power up a long time ago and you're now finally regaining that power and taking it back taking that energy back from wherever you have divvied it up and through this process it's almost like you are um, shifting your energy in some way here it's uh, you know what I'm getting here is it's the seven of wands or sorry seven of swords um, whatever these burdens were that you were carrying around, these hurts, these pains, they kind of weighed down on you and almost you're, you were wearing it like a cloak. Okay, you were covered, you covered yourself with it. You surrounded yourself with this negative energy because perhaps some of you have only known this energy, right? This is the stuff that people say about you. So that potential, that, that version of yourself was almost cloaked by this uh, false identity on you, right? And you carried that around thinking that you were this person, but you're actually not. And you know, deep down inside, there's some other version of yourself that you want to unleash. So I'm seeing some of you really taking this dagger cloak and just throwing it off of yourself and letting it go and coming into this version of yourself. Um, sorry, I'm seeing something. I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, so you're seeing the signs around you right now that are showing you that you're you're on the right track here, that you are on the right path, Sagittarius, and it's such a beautiful feeling here. Um, those of you that still have this cloak on, I, I feel that you don't realize your potential, that everyone is unique in their own way, and we're meant to come to this earth to find ourselves and live in that version of ourself in our own unique in our own uniqueness in our own authenticity and through that uniqueness and through that own our, our own authenticity that's where you are going to find your place in the world especially those of you that have kind of lost yourselves over time and spirit gods are really wanting you to tap into that version of yourself and i feel some of you actually are you're going through this major healing process Process. And you're really coming into this place in the world where you're um, owning yourself, that version of yourself where you can speak freely, be yourself and not be afraid of what other people think, that judgment that comes along with whatever this energy is. It's almost like this testy energy. And you're really coming into this place where you're not like not caring about what other people think. And it's taken you a long time to come to this place. 
and all the struggles, all the challenges that you have been through, Sagittarius, they were put there for a reason. Um, you know, and I've mentioned this on my channel, I'm here in front of you because of everything that I've gone through, because of all of my challenges, all the struggles. Had I not gone through that, I'd be in a completely different place in my life. I wouldn't be here doing this channel. I wouldn't be here speaking to you, uh, doing tarot readings. So everything that I went through, I would do it again if I had to. I went through a really rough life, half of my life. Um, until I was in my late 30s was really rough. I went through a lot of challenges, a lot of struggles. I was carrying around a lot of weight. And I feel finally, and I understand why I had to go through that, right? I, I, I'm almost like a survival manual for a lot of people. And I should write my story about my life experience, everything that I had gone through and uh, how I came to this place because you know, with my life experience, I don't even know how I made it here, to be quite honest. <laughs> Sometimes I go back and look, I'm like, oh my God, I'm surprised that I'm not messed up. Um, and I feel that some of you are feeling this energy that you've been through a lot here, Sagittarius, that you're carrying a lot. And it's time to release yourself of that. What once was is gone. It's not there anymore. And it's now time to kind of use those uh, wounds those just everything that has happened to the to you as strength as a superpower all right because this is what i've done i've used everything because what i'm getting here is that people in your life sagittarius might be using your history as a weapon against you so you have to wear this cloak to protect yourself so you know, the things that you're carrying around that aren't even true about you are there in your mind. And uh, it's almost causing this, uh, it's like you're wearing an armor. It's like you're guarded. And the spirit guides want you to let that guard down just a little bit, one by one, until you come to this place where you're um, almost vulnerable in your own position. And I'm not saying this so you feel... Um, almost naked i'm not asking you to be so bare and naked that everyone sees like all your scars and all of your hurts and pains but i want you to come to this place where you're you're yourself your true version of yourself and you're not afraid to be that and you have to release all the things that have caused you to wear this heavy uh this heavy coat of hurt and pain and all these thoughts and it's all about shifting your mindset as well now if we focus ourselves on the past and keep reliving it and giving a life to that past we can't move forward either so spirit guides are wanting you to release yourself from this energy because there's so much beauty that is coming into your life and once you release that because the signs are there you're seeing the signs I know you're seeing the signs and if you're not seeing them if you're not seeing these signs you're going to see them after this reading I guarantee you that all right so let go of whatever once was wipe that slate clean here my friends and create some belief systems that you believe in uh, values that you value right everything that you want to create in your life you are the creator of that and you have that strength to really stand up and rise like a phoenix all right throw these daggers down nobody needs to carry those around um, this is also kind of letting you know that there's a light shining through. So some of you are dreaming, some of you are seeing these signs. You're really uh, coming to this place where you're understanding that the things that people say, the things that, it's like a them problem. It has nothing to do with you. I feel that these people are working on their own things. Any kind of self-doubt you have, I feel has been picked up along your life experience. And it's now time to release that. Some of you might need to seek some professional help. And I feel it's now time to get that help, especially if you have deep-seated uh, um, deep seated swords like that are there that are hard to pull out, okay? And uh, for some of you, these are many different things that you're kind of dealing with. It might not even have to do with yourself. These are um, things that you do for others. And because you're so kind-hearted, it's now time to take those 
responsibilities and obligations that other people can do for themselves, it's now time for you to take those and kind of give them back to those people for them to do themselves and not you taking responsibility for others around you. I feel there's a lot of um, vampire energy around you as well where people take, take, take and they don't give you enough back. So it's now time to create some healthy boundaries around these types of people for you. Now there's something coming in here. I feel this is that dream, that manifestation, that uh, wish, that prayer that's going to come in. And it's almost like the seed of opportunity. And you're seeing this very clearly here, Sagittarius. And you're going to pick this up and you're going to run with it. And you're going to run right into the chaos. There's almost like the strength that is built up through this healing process, through this uh, transformation here, the Seven of Swords energy. And it's given you the strength. And you know now that everything that you went through is your strength. This this is your life experience that you've, you're wearing as armor now. You're like, all right. It's kind of how I feel. Sometimes I've had my, I've had people uh, use my history, my life's history and the things I've done in my life as a weapon against me when there's nothing even wrong with uh, my life. I went through my experiences. Uh, for example, like partners. Yes, I was married once and now I'm, you know, remarried again and that's being used as a weapon against me I'm like yeah I know I had a history there but there's a reason why I left my ex-husband and um, I don't know why you're using my history because I know my histories and I'm not ashamed of myself um, so I'm using that as armor to ride myself through the chaos right um, even tarot uh, tarot uh, in some uh, religions is almost like uh, considered like Satan worship stuff, right? I don't believe in that at all. I feel this is a, a blessing. This is a gift. And people use that against me. And I'm like, I don't care what you think, man. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but it's whatever. You know, the things that people say to you here, Sagittarius, it's a them problem. It doesn't have anything to do with you. So wear your scars, wear your life's history, wear your experiences as armor and run with that and go through the chaos and like knock the people or the barriers or anything that stands in your way down because you're stronger than you know here, my friends. And I'm only sharing little bits of me because I feel that some of us go through the same kind of experiences. They're not exactly the same. But they're almost similar and I feel that you're going to be victorious because this person's going to take their flag and they're going to put it down where they want there's a, there's a, a cape here as well so this is letting you know that you have superpowers here Sagittarius that everything that you have gone through in your life you have acquired a superpower okay and this is what you're going to use to move yourself forward I know that through some of my life experience, I've gotten patience and calm as my superpower through some of the things that I've went through. So I feel for you, whatever this opportunity is, this is going to come in the form of a job. Perhaps you are going through a really negative work environment and it's kind of put this sour taste in your mouth and you're kind of breaking free from that. And you've gotten this opportunity that has come in and you're riding with it. You're not, not going to let anyone stop you. There's a lot of growth potential here as well. A lot of abundance coming in. And this is you steering the way. This is you riding on that horse. And with this horse comes freedom, this feeling and the sense of freedom and, and this feeling of liberate like being liberated here it's almost like you're freeing yourself from all of that uh, nonsense that dark space and you're flowing through the light now and and the world is your oyster you can do anything and everything that you want and this is um predicting a triumph and victory in your life so i want you to know that here sagittarius there's so many things kind of going through my mind here determination is huge and i feel that there's almost like been this uh emotion that you tapped into this desire this uh will this uh will to thrive this like feeling this passionate energy within you and you're really riding forward you're not going to let anything get in your way here i feel that you're a force to be reckoned with and you've kind of let go of all of this some of you have already done this work in your life and you're really seeing the results of it and the signs and again I can't say enough like there's so many things that are resonating with you Sagittarius 
things that are happening in your life. You're seeing the synchronicities. You are seeing uh, the ripple effect of your choices and the decisions that you are making and you're seeing it playing out live in your life. And you're aligning yourself to people. You're building this army of people, this soul tribe that is going to help lift you up here as well, Sagittarius. So I feel that a lot of you are going to do some shedding with friendships with people in your life, with relationships where you're kind of like, you know, anyone that's a heavy weight on me, I'm going to let that go. I'm going to cut my uh, self free from that energy and I'm really going to move freely and do what it is that I want. And I, I really feel that you're going to move in a really quick way. You're going to move forward really quickly. You're going to see a lot of growth. You're going to see expansion, a lot of things happening in your life. And this is stuff. These are the things that you have been kind of waiting for here, uh, Sagittarius. And whatever it is that you're manifesting, that life that you want, especially if you um, are someone that is naturally gifted or talented in some way, and you're wanting to express those gifts and share them with the world, why not do it? And I'm getting imposter syndrome here with uh, this seven of swords energy. So I have this as well. And I do a meditation before I do any of my readings. And um, I have major imposter syndrome right now because I know that I'm doing a live event. So those of you that are wanting to do a moon ritual with me, August the 1st, mark this down in your calendars. I'm going to announce the time. And I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to put some advertisements up on my community page for this event. And it's a manifestation ritual I'm going to do along with the uh, full moon as a community live event where I've got massive imposter syndrome because I'm going to be live and it's something I've never done before. So I'm going to have to get over that. I'm just going to bite the bullet. I'm a cold turkey kind of person. I'm just going to do it and see how it goes. And that's kind of the energy spirit guides want you to embrace here, especially if you want to be in the public eye is to just drop that out of your mind completely and just go for it and see where it takes you. And I'm telling you, it's going to take you to a uh, places you've never been before. You're going to experience this whole new world. There's so many opportunities, so many connections, so many things that are going to start opening up for you. And this is what you're doing. You're opening up this new world of freedom for yourself. It's like you're a superhero. This person's wearing a cape and it's because they believe in the power of themselves. And I'm getting like the Superman, Superwoman energy where you're like, just going through life. You're like, nothing is going to stop me. I'm going to go up so high. I'm going to see how far I can rise. That is the energy. So embrace this. This person has a plan. This person has a strategy. They have a plan A, B, and C. So make sure that you have a plan here, my friends, and have a clear vision for where it is that you are headed. Have a destination point. And that des destination point has to be very clear in your mind so you know exactly where it is that you're going. All right. Know that you are going to reach heights you have never experienced before. This is a spirit guides confirmation for you, Sagittarius. I'm now going to pull a bonus card for you. Now, this is the deck that I've got here, Elki Oracle. I've used it on my channel before. So it's all about brave warrior women. And you have a warrior spirit, Sagittarius. I'm feeling this uh, very strong warrior spirit within you. And it's all about unleashing that power of you, believing in the power of you to accomplish and achieve anything that you want in your life. That belief in yourself is going to be your superpower. So know that. All right, let's pull a card here and see what we get. Geneva, she who radiates, knowing ambitious, ambition and confidence. Look at that. So Geneva is your card. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook here. Okay. So Geneva, I've never pulled this card yet. So here we are Sagittarius Geneva. She who radiates glows with confidence of a true leader and her choices of ornamentation reflect her ambition. If it doesn't make her feel powerful, it is not for her. She has chosen the headdress of a of a chieftain, I think that's how you say it, chieftain, with bold markings of gold. Her face tattoos point to her strong features. Her third eye chakra knows all. Her eyes that see everything and her mouth that speaks her profound truth. Look at that. The flowers that uh, the flower she re wears reflects her valor. 
This is a woman who understands the true nature of power. Her ambition is not to be denied. Geneva will be, be seen for the warrior princess she is. This card is asking you to look at the persona you present to the world. It, is this is it the real you? Oh my gosh, I feel this is aligning with your reading so well because you're unleashing that version of yourself. Oh my gosh, sometimes the way these cards align sometimes creeps me out. So let me read this uh, again here, this paragraph for you. This card is asking you to look at the persona you present to the world, Sagittarius. Is it the real you? The woman or man who wants to conquer your world. Let your appearance announce to the world that you are a force to be reckoned with. This force is beauty, power, and ambition that radiates from you like a queen's gold rings. Make sure you are doing everything you can to honor your true essence. Oh my goodness, I... I'm getting goosebumps from this reading because I truly feel that you're taking that cloak off and you're really standing in your true power, that version of yourself that you want to show the world and stand strong in. My goodness, Sagittarius, I'm so happy for you. I feel that that belief in yourself is going to be your ultimate superpower. I'm now going to pull an angel number for you. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers. This is going to be your confirmation. And for others, you can use this as an affirmation. Number 18, I am kind hearted. So if you've been seeing one eights together, know that you are kind hearted. Sagittarius, this card has a spelling mistake. So I apologize for that. Um, I did mention it to the creator of this uh, deck and she hasn't sent me a new deck yet. So I'll have to reach out to her again. All right. So the message on this card, Sagittarius, is you are both open minded and open hearted and your ambition is to leave this world better, better than you found it. Ensure that your goals are aligned with the collective need and with the highest good of all. Look at that. You, my friends, are kind-hearted. That in itself is also a superpower to be kind-hearted. And I feel that is what you are. And because of that, sometimes people take advantage. And I just don't like it when people take advantage of kind-hearted people. That's just not a nice thing to do. So this is your reading, my friends. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.